Today my discussion is Hamilton Beach Dual Flex Brew where you can do single serve for a rush in the morning or you can do an entire tariff for the family. First of all, let's take a look at the different features of this brew. We have here a removable drip tray. This is the drip tray. Okay, you can put it like this if you're putting tall cups. So this is the lid for the single serve. Just click and release up. In here, this is the holder for the K cups. So it's the removable. You can remove it because this serves two purposes. It's for the K cups as well as if you want to use your regular ground coffee then you open here this is the storage for it and this is the basket for your regular coffee okay lift put in your ground coffee close it back and then you just put it in here and that's how you use the single serve with your regular coffee When you're done, you dispose of the ground coffee rings and you put it back in here in the storage. It's really for convenience, so when you need it again, you're not tumbling looking where did you put it. It's easy to get to. And this here is our regular curry for when we're making coffee for the entire family. This is the warming plate and it's always hot when the coffee is making so please try not to touch. Then here we have the various program buttons for when we're ready to program either the curry or the single serve. Up here we have the lid to put the water and the coffee and then here we have the lid which you open to put the water for the single serve so now that you've seen all the various parts let me show you how to actually start making the coffee so the Hamilton Beach came with this beautiful on-the-go coffee mug so if you're using this to do your single brew then you can just put down the drip tray and you rest the tall mug on it, okay? If you're not using the huge cup and you would just, and you would just like to brew a little cup of coffee for yourself, then it's okay to just leave this on. It's okay to just leave that on and put the little cup. This way as it drips, it won't spill everywhere. So it's perfect for if you're doing a small cup. The same would be if you have this coffee cup, you can just put it here. This way it eliminates any kind of spill. The only reason to remove the removable basket is if you have your on-the-go travel mug because it's tall, so you have to remove it to fit in there. plug it in top point so when you plug it in you'll notice the flash in time so we'll go ahead and set the time now to set the time you just hit the button here that looks like a clock when you press it it changes the one that's blinking so for, ex for instance now it's 12.45 I press the clock, it's already at 12, so I leave that. It's fine, I wouldn't change it. So when this one starts blinking now, just keep pressing until you hit 45. Or you can hold it down and it keeps going and you release when it reaches the desired amount. 
so I need it at 45 and it's in the afternoon so I need it at p.m. but it automatically when you put it on goes to a.m. so in order to get it to p.m. you'd have to press until this goes 12 1 2 3 back to 12 so we hold it down until it goes back see it changes there to p.m. if you've noticed so you keep pressing so you hold the two until it goes to where you want it back to 12 and so there I have the correct time 12 47 p.m. once you stop holding it will automatically set itself so there we are all done with the timing I'll show you how to brew the carafe. Now to begin with, we fill, lift the lid, and we fill the back of the carafe with the amount of water that we need. Try to use filtered water. It's better for the coffee maker because it wouldn't leave like hard residue to block up the flow. So you fill the water at the side it tells you the amount of water, four cups, six cups, and so forth, so you know how much to fill. Or you can use the carafe and measure how much you want, and then pour it into the back. Those are your two options. So after you fill the water, this is the basket. And I prefer to use my basket filter, because for one, it's easy cleanup. So I put one of the basket filter in my basket and then pour my coffee. After you put it back in, make sure that it sits correctly. Okay, you'll notice at the top, you'll notice that it has grooves. Just make sure that these grooves fit correctly inside so that it can sit properly. Once it's properly like that, then you just Add your coffee. So once you've added your coffee filter, you put the desired amount of coffee and you close. Once you've closed, now you use the carafe. So the third one down, the picture is there of the carafe. All you do is press the carafe one time. And then this one is the start stop button. You just press on it start stop and you'll notice that it light up. And that will tell you that it's starting. Once it's finished, it will just stop. The light will stay on to keep it warm. Now we'll move over to the single brew. I'll show you how to do the single brew. First of all, for the single brew, you have to measure the exact amount of water that you need. So if you go, if you need this cup, you have to fill this cup with water and then you lift the lid and you pour the water in the reservoir and close. Then you proceed to put the same cup because this is the amount that will be brewed here on the brewer. Lift the lid, and if you're using the K cups, insert it into the K cup holder, pull the lever down, and press until you hear the click. Then you know that it's closed tightly. So then we proceed over to the program inside of it, and we press the third one down. Because this is the one for the single serve, it shows a small cup or your travel mug. So you press that one, and then once again, you press the start stop. The button will light up, and it will take a few seconds. You'll hear a gurgling sound while it starts to brew. And again, once it's done, it will take out all the water from it. If you decide to stop in the middle, you'll have to manually remove the excess water. If you don't have a K-cup, 
to use and you want to use the basket with your regular ground coffee, then just use the basket, lift the lid, fill the amount of coffee that you want for your single serve, close the basket, and again, just sit it nicely in, make sure that it's flat, and once again, press the lever until you hear the click, and you do the same as you did with the K-cup. You press for the single serve, and then you press the start stop. So there you go. Two different ways to have coffee, the single serve or the family brew. Now I will show you how to use the programming in case you want to do it the night before so you can wake up to nice, a nice fresh pot of coffee. So first of all, you have to make sure that the time is correct. Once you've done that, I've shown previously how to set the time. Once the time is correct, then we go to program. So we hold the program button, then you use the timer to set the desired start time, release program, and press it one more time until the program button comes on. And you'll wake up the morning and it will start brewing at whatever time you ask it to start. And I'm sure it goes without saying that the program inside is only for the carif, not the single serve. So you can only program for a large amount. So there I've shown you how to use this beautiful dual purpose coffee machine. If you decide to get one, I would like to say it's the greatest thing around because you can use it for on the go if you're the only one that needs coffee that morning. If you have a family that has different work hours, this is perfect. Each individual can do their own coffee and just run out the door. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe and share with your friends and family. If you like it, give me a great big thumbs up and don't be afraid to view my other videos some of which you can see popping up at the end. Thank you and see you again soon.